Come on. Use your damn common sense so you don't have to go on YouTube and cry about these situations here. Or find yourself in the bad situations that you end up in, whether it's with a woman or something else. I'm just saying, man, your, their retirement plan is you. Their welfare system, those single mothers that you all like to go with over there, that you all, you all won't bother with going here with in America, you are their welfare plan. Yo, my reggae music, man. My reggae music. I gotta go back to those old, old school reggae music. You know, to get me in the mood for everything that I'm doing, whether I'm doing some chores in the home. Whether I'm just sitting, chilling, relaxing, if I'm not watching YouTube, watching people leave America, go overseas, and screw up their life. Literally screw up their life. You know, I'm finding so many YouTube channels out in the Philippines that I never really knew exist. Literally. You know, this juice is good, man. I'm gonna put it down, put it out of my hand. Because, you know, like I say, I got nothing else to do right now other than staying busy with my daughter, doing things around the house, doing what I love to do, man. Getting up early in the morning, start walking out in the desert really, really early in the morning before that heat start building in, man. I gotta, gotta start working on the proper physique all over again, man. Gotta get myself back together the way it used to be. But anyway, I want to thank all you guys for coming back, watching my videos. I know I haven't put out a video in a while. Like I told you guys, hey, man, I do YouTube for fun. I make a video when I think I really got something to say. You know, if anybody really want to listen, I appreciate you guys very much. You know, but here, you know, not a lot of people always, seriously, a lot of people always knock America. They truly do. And I understand. I get it. You know. You know, being in the homeland where a lot of people grow up, you know, it probably for some people, it doesn't feel the same way like it used to be, especially when you get older. You get to an age, you can't really go out there and work anymore, earn your keep like you used to do. You know, you're living on a small retirement budget. I get it. America can be really tough. It truly can. Well, so is all over the world. It's not just here. But I'm sticking to America right now. But what I really don't understand is why... When a lot of these guys pick up and they leave America, they go overseas to the Philippines. And, you know, they go into these cheap areas to live. And they start complaining about what is happening in these areas. They're complaining about the noise. They complain about the dog barking, the damn, you know, chickens crowing and all of that stuff. They complain about the loud motorbike and all this type of stuff. Hey, what do you expect, man? What do you expect? You know, you want to live cheap? Guess what you're going to deal with? You're going to live around that excessive noise, you know? Boom, 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 karaoke. Boom, 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 loud motorcycle. Dogs barking all goddamn day, all time of the night. Trust me. I know. I know. But that's not really the issue. You know, maybe one day you'll get accustomed to the noise issue and stuff like that. But what I'm seeing with a lot of these channels that I'm discovering, I'm hearing guys really complaining about how bad, you know, the Philippines is, how bad the Filipino women are in the Philippines. I'm not going to say I'm blaming the women them in the Philippines. These women are doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing to get ahead in life and to help their family. But I hear a lot of these guys would say things like, I would never go into a bad neighborhood here in America, whether it's a trailer park or a ghetto, and go look for a woman coming out of these areas in America. But still yet, they would go over to the Philippines in the squatter area, the poorer areas, deep into the province country areas, and find these poor women who are living in these little shacks who don't have running water, who don't have enough money to, to get the, the, the little pouch bag of shampoos to wash their hair and body along with that 
proper hygiene and things like that. Don't have money to go to the dentist to take care of their teeth. So, you know, of course, their teeth is so bad and, and, and the, the smell that is coming out of these young ladies' mouth. But these are the kind of friggin' women that a lot of guys going over there dealing with. Women who really don't have sense, women that they really can't communicate with, women that can't really help them when they get into situations. But these are the choices. But then when things don't really work out, they're finding out that they deal with somebody that they just cannot, cannot tolerate anymore. And they're finding out that these women are just sucking their little pension away for themselves and their family. Then they cry. You can't blame those ladies. They're doing what they're supposed to do. You know, here in America, you know, people work, we have social security, or some people have 401ks, you know, a Roth IRAs that they plan for when they get to a certain age to say, you know something, okay, I have enough now, I'm done. I'm not doing anymore. You know, or some people have VA or, or, or military retirement. You know, we have that here. But over there, in that land, that a lot of you guys love to run to because you know your favorite YouTubers are selling you these great things or these um, Filipino YouTubers like to sexualize everything on, on, on YouTube and you guys just get hooked and you run and get your ass into these situations that you're in. You can't blame nobody else, man. But let me get back to the financial situation here. They don't have what we have here in America. There's no welfare, no social security, you know what those single mother's retirement plan is? You know what those poor girls' retirement plan is, plan is and their family, the ones in who are taking advantage of you guys who are going on YouTube and crying? You, you, you. They're looking at you as their retirement setup. Get as much as they can from you. Honey, invest in this business for my brother. Invest in this business for my father. Honey, buy this piece of land here. Let's build this house. You are their welfare system and their retirement system. So when I see a lot of these guys that put out these YouTube videos and they're crying about how bad things are over there and how bad these women treat them, guess what? Hell, I don't feel sorry for you because the same damn thing that you won't do here in America, you're going over there and doing it. That's all on you, man. But like I say, man, I just put out a video when I got something to say. I'm not putting this video out to really upset anybody or anything like that. But come on, man. Don't lose your common sense when you land over there in that country and you get close to these young, petite-type women. Come on, man. Come on. Use your damn common sense so you don't have to go on YouTube and cry about these situations here. Or find yourself in the bad situations that you end up in, whether it's with a woman or something else. I'm just saying, man, your, their retirement plan is you. Their welfare system, those single mothers that you all like to go with over there, that you all, you all won't bother with going here with in America, you are their welfare plan. I'm just saying, you guys always know what it is, man. Let me get my orange juice.